This is the guitar lesson for America's Sister Golden Hair, the easy way and the correct way. I want to dedicate this lesson to a buddy of mine, Gene. Gene, this one's for you, buddy. All right, so make sure your guitar's in standard E tuning, starting off. And here's the intro of the song, okay? It's C sharp minor, A, and then E. All right, C sharp minor and A are bar chords, okay? And you gotta know how to play these chords uh, to start off. So bar your pointer finger over the fourth fret um, from the A string to the E string. Take your ring finger, put it on the sixth fret D string, pinky on the sixth fret G string, and your middle finger on the fifth fret B string. That's gonna give your C sharp, okay? Now the A string, you just take the same shape and move it down so that you're now barring all the fifth fret, every single string. Okay, your ring finger is gonna be on the seventh fret A string, pinky on the seventh fret D string, and your middle finger is gonna be on the sixth fret G string, okay? See how these shapes are similar? All right? So I'm really not doing a whole lot of work here. Just switching the location of my hand, okay? So, C sharp minor, A major, and then we slide all the way down to E. And see how this shape, I can just slide it down and it stays the same? So right here it's this. If I take my finger off and slide it down, it makes an E. E major, okay? So we got... That's what we have so far. The second part of the intro is this. It's G sharp minor, okay? So we're going to bar the entire fourth fret with our pointer finger. Take your ring finger, put that on the sixth fret. Uh, I'm Yeah, the sixth fret A string, your pinky on the sixth fret D string. And that's your G, G sharp minor, okay? So it goes. C sharp minor from before, okay? B, all right, the B bar chord. Then A. All right, and that's the intro of the song. So we have. come in and we're, we are in the verse so it goes well I tried to make it Sunday but I got so damn depressed all right so I'm just gonna I'm gonna strum through it and I'll say the chords when I'm um, strumming through them and I'll do it slow okay so you can see it so E G sharp minor G sharp minor again. A, F sharp minor. F sharp minor is just two, two frets down from your G sharp minor, okay? C sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, F sharp minor, A, E. I put my pinky on the second fret. G string and then I take it off. So I go E, put the pinky on, then take it off. See the sound, how it creates a different sound if you make an E major? Then you take your pinky and you put it on the second fret G string and then take it off. Mess around with that. You can hear that in the song, okay? So. All right. So that whole chord progression was this one more time. It was E, G sharp minor, A, E, minor, A, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, G sharp minor, A, and then F sharp minor, A, E, put your pinky on, take it off, okay? The chord, the strumming pattern I was doing was this, it was, so that was for the entire verse, that was down, down, up, up, down, up, down. So you get the idea. Down, down, up, up, down, up, okay? Down, down, up, up, down, up. Yep, that's it. All right. So the chorus of the song then goes like this, okay? It's D, A, E. So it goes, will you meet me in the middle? Will you meet me in the air? 
So it's B, A, E, B, play twice, A, E. Then it goes F sharp minor, but I'm trying to think it. I don't mind saying. And then it's G sharp minor, and then we go A. I just can't take it. And then. Okay, now that chorus part it was a little bit different, the strumming pattern, okay? I was actually muting, I was barring and I was muting. So I was going, so down strum, the second down strum, I take my tension off my fingers and I let my fingers just touch the strings, making it sound like that. Okay, so, so down, mute, up, up, down, and I mute again. So that is the gist of it. All right, so that was the gist of the song right there. And I didn't go over any lead stuff. If I threw in all the lead stuff, this would probably be a 15 minute lesson. So I'm gonna leave that out for now. I might do a uh, addendum lesson to where I cover all the lead stuff and the little fills and um, all that stuff. So please check back. Also, the key to learning this song is to sit down, have the original recording right there, whether it's on an iPod or your computer, or whatever, and basically play along with it and try to play along with the song, okay? That way your ear will pick up the strumming patterns, pick up the rhythm, pick up the timing, and it will make you good to go on playing this song, all right? If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Also follow me on Twitter. Uh, and if you like my, uh, my methods of teaching guitar, please check out my website, guitarmadeeasy.com, and I will show you all kinds of good stuff on there. All right, guys, I will see you on the next guitar lesson. Thanks, Gene. See ya. Bye.